Richard, one of my favourite meats, a good steak. Nice bit of marble in the, uh, in the old ribeye. Yep. yep. And cooked on a nice bit of cast iron. Yep, Direct absolutely. heat underneath. Direct heat underneath, yep. yep. You wouldn't want to go indirect on these. No, definitely not. So, um, so you've got the barbecue set up. Yep. Uh, we're going to just do these really nice and simply with some salt and pepper. Um, so freshly cracked black pepper. This is one of those situations where you, we're going to oil the grill. Yeah. I'm going to say that we should oil the grill, but this is also one of those cases where you could oil the meat as well. So a little bit of oil drizzled over the top. And this is just going to help things not to stick. So again, season both sides. If you do it from the top, you look, look a bit chefy and you make a mess. So it looks good, good doesn't it? Looks it does good. Look good. You get it nice and evenly distributed over the, over the steak. So About five, six minutes? Yeah, tops. Um, depending on how you like, like your steaks cooked. I like mine rare. So. Probably, again, depends on the thickness of the steaks, depends on how much you like them cooked, but we're going to get good caramelization on that presentation side. So presentation side goes down first, and then we're going to talk about how to know when things are ready to come off, yep. um, to turn over, should I say, and then we'll put the lid back down again, and we'll let them cook on the second side, and we'll temperature yep. probe them. So we've got the barbecue already set up. It's at around about, 200, it's at about 250 oh, degrees nice C. Got the cast iron diamond plate uh, sear grate in the center of the barbecue. Just going to use one of the silicon based dim brushes that yep. comes out for cleaning. Yep. Just pop that back in. Just tickle that with the oil just to make sure that's nice and, uh, nice and oiled. Oh, yes, that's Steaks go on. Good and that. the crucial thing, lid down. Yep. You can see the smoke already. Lid down. Um, it's going to three things. One, it's going to prevent flare up because when those fats in the in the marbling start to render through, um, if we have the lid open, that's when you get your burnt on the outside, not cooked yeah. in the centre because you get loads of flare up. When you put the lid on, you get reduced oxygen. So when the fat hits the coals, there's not enough yeah. oxygen for, for flame. So the second thing is you can see the smoke coming off. That smells fantastic. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get nice smoky flavour. The duck thinks that's really funny, but we're gonna yeah. get nice smoky flavour. And um, and the third thing is it's gonna just cook quicker. Yeah. So we're gonna give those about minute minute and a half on yeah, the first no side. Way. Get those nice and caramelised. Let the sugars in the protein caramelise. And then um, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about how we know when they're ready to yeah. turn over. Yeah. Right. Let's have a look at those now. So we've had another minute or so. Oh. Let's have a look at these little uh, little beauties. So when the steaks come away nice and easily from the cooking grill, when they don't stick. They are ready to turn over. We can see beautiful caramelization on there. We're going to get the lid down. Um, you might have noticed that there was a, a slight flare up when we lifted the lid. We've just put loads of oxygen yeah. in the cook box. We've turned the steaks over, a little bit of fat dripped. Completely fine. Just carry on your business and put the lid back down again. You notice all the juices still being trapped in there. Yeah, That's yeah. the important thing. Yeah. You know. Amazing. So we'll give those another minute, minute and a half yeah. on this side yeah. for, for rare. And, yeah. um, and we'll, we'll, we'll take the temperature probe and we'll have a look at them. Yeah. Right, let's have a look at those. Okay, so easiest way to know that your steak is cooked to the level of liking that you know that you like. You know you like. That you know you like. That made complete sense, maybe. Um, is to use a little digital temperature probe. So that one's 55. So that one's kind of uh, a medium well, and that's a 48. So that one's going to be our rare steak. So using a separate set of utensils, no cross contamination here. We'll take this off. Again, you can see that we've got beautiful caramelization on that second side. The steaks haven't stuck uh, because even when we turn the steaks over, we have the oil on the second side. So by doing that, we make sure that wherever we put our food, we've got a nice little bit of non-stick. Yep. You normally let those rest, but for the purposes of the video, yeah, we I think we got... just need to slice in, don't we? Yeah. So no, I'll let you I'll let do you that. You, uh, You're the expert on that. Go on, you do the honours. I'll just take it from here. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nice and juicy, you get the smoke, okay. slight smoky flavour from the fat stripping through. Look at that. Nice little bit of pink in the centre, cooked around mm. the outside. Nice and juicy. Let's cut that off properly and then we can have a taste. A perfect steak. Oh. No more than five, six minutes there, and that is perfect. Go to your local butcher, get some really good quality mm. steak. Um, season oh. it nicely and don't mess around with it. Stick it on the barbecue. Never have any problems again. Fantastic, isn't it? It's I think they should try it at home. Yeah, definitely. But the cast iron is the most important. You need important that cast iron. iron. Yeah, definitely yeah. give that intense heat. Perfect. Richard, fantastic. Thanks very much.